Hey guys, Tyler here from World of Tech, and today you're watching this video on Destiny the Tech Boy YouTube channel from winning the 750 sub contest. For more videos, please check out youtube.com slash world of tech. In today's video, I will be showing you how to update your computer drivers or finding missing drivers after you have either updated or downgraded your operating system. This program is free and is called Slim Drivers, which you can find a link to in the show notes to download. Now, this program is mainly a one-time use, meaning if you downgrade your computer and you use this program and you've installed all the drivers, you'll probably never need to run this again. However, if you do plan on upgrading in the future or if you upgrade from, say, Vista to 7, you may need to use this program to find any drivers that is yet to be supported or you just cannot find on the web. Now, it only takes about 26 megabytes of your hard disk space, so might as well keep this, it's not going to really clean up much room and doesn't take that much room. And as you can see the interface is really simple, it's clean, and it kind of gives you a PC overview. As you can see, I'm running Microsoft Windows 7 Professional Service Pack 1. Uh, of course my computer name is Tyler PC, my processor is an AMD Phenom, uh, and I have a total of 3.9 gigabytes, really like 4 gig, and after using that virtual RAM, uh, about 5 and I'm using an updated version of this program and obviously from this top right hand corner my PC is up to date so what we need to do is click on this button start scan and it's going to read your system information and it's going to request all the driver updates now as you can see here there's no updates to be found and that's just because my drivers are up to the latest stable updates and there's nothing critical that needs to be downloaded however uh, if there was to be one found, which you'll see in this picture here, this is from my Windows XP laptop, and as you can see, I have one driver that needs to be updated, which is my wireless network adapter. Now, you have the option to ignore the driver if you wish to do so, and of course, you can download the update. So, we're going to go ahead and click on Download Update and a pop-up will come up saying do you want to create a restore before continuing I never do I probably recommend you doing so just in case you're afraid so we'll go ahead and hit no and it's gonna hurry up and it's still gonna back up the devices and you have to wait a couple of seconds and then after doing so it will start downloading the wireless network adapter now this program is free, it's simple to use, and after downloading all drivers you must restart the computer to use the drivers, which is obvious. And after that the program should be up to date and you probably will never have to worry about running the program again unless I had mentioned earlier you downgra downgrade or upgrade. Hopefully you guys like this. This is one video of two that will be uploaded on Dusty the Tech Boys YouTube channel. Uh, and be sure to check out the youtube.com forward slash world of tech channel. Rate, comment, and subscribe to my channel guys if you could. Till then, Tyler here from World of Tech. And as we always say here, get plugged in.